My Quest in the Morning with Gareth and Renee's Famous Friday. Hello, Paul Ego here. Uh, hello, Paul Ego. Uh, calling from the referendum office. Apparently you haven't sent yours in yet. Oh, Jesus. Was that today? <laughs> I can't... Oh, I can't believe it. I've only just... I had two jobs to do. I was going to do my divorce oh. papers, adopt my kids to... Uh, to Africa and do that. And I've done oh. the first two and I just forgot the last one. You blew it. <laughs> I thought I'd nailed the morning. Damn. <laughs> hey, Paul, it's Mike and Gareth here from More FM. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, so, should I say, hey, Paul, it's Mike It's Mike and Gareth here from More <laughs> FM Manawa 2. Nice to talk to you guys. How are you? You too, yeah, you too mate. You yeah. too. We've got, we've got a special introduction for you too. All right, Gareth. Oh, no. All right, Gareth. Oh, Hit him. No. Somebody seatbelt the man. Our special guest this morning is two men in one, part human, part stick man, stand-up comedian, sit-down funny man, and the same size as two grown dies. In fact, he leads such a double life, if he had a Christmas DVD, it would be called The Bipolar Express. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Paul Ego! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Man! Woo! I'm awake now! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good on you, Paul. Really nice to talk to you, mate, and how's things? Everything's good? Everything's great. Look, the kids have gone to school. Um, <laughs> the wife has gone to school with the kids. I've got the <laughs> yeah. house to myself. I'm just in the underpants. Yes. Oh, look this at you. This is living. What yeah. sort of undies are they? <laughs> oh, look, you know those ones that Dan Carter wears? <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, they're like those, except imagine him wearing them, but like a lot tighter. And it looks <laughs> like you've got, say, like half a dozen grapefruit and a small <laughs> Pekingese in it. <laughs> yeah, excellent, yeah. yeah I've, I've seen your billboard. I'm going to paint that visual picture for you first thing in the morning. We've, we've got yeah, your nice. billboard up just over the yeah. Fitzherbert Bridge. It looks great. <laughs> There'll be a few car crashes in the area there. <laughs> yeah. Is that grapefruit in his groin? I'm sure that Pekingese is trying to eat those grapefruit. That can't be, yeah. mate. Oh, very funny. Oh, mate. Oh, well, look, hey, if the Seven Days Live is going to be as anything as funny, you're looking forward to the show. Went to it last time you came to town, uh, Paul, and you're coming Good back to you. Palmerston North for Seven Days Live. Live 19th of December at the Regent. That's it. You've got all the details. Yes, Ticket Direct, I believe, is the agency to get them through. And um, yeah, so it's not that far away. No. You know, it sounds like it's a long way away, but as Christmas always seems to be, you know, it starts in July generally now. Mm-hmm. The first decorations go up. And so, um, yeah, it's not the Thursday 19th, and the Regent is an amazing venue. So we always love playing Palmy. Can't wait. And Paul, speaking of Christmas, what are your plans for Christmas? And can you please answer in your pack and save voice? <laughs> well, let's see. What I like to do first of all is go and get all my fellow pack and save stick people and pile us all into a big pile and then set us on fire as a bonfire. And then we just toast all the other supermarkets on top. <laughs> nice. So that's uh, that's generally what I would do. No, we're uh, we've got we've got a family Christmas this year. We've drawn the short straw and we're holding it at our place. Which seems kind of unfair because we we did that last year as well, so I'm not quite sure how that worked. In fact, I think there was only one straw in the person's hand when we did it. <laughs> yeah, but, um, that would explain. You know, um, yeah, Christmas is a great time to to get you over the love of family, and um, <laughs> that's really one of its one of its main roles, I think. But mm-hmm. no, really looking forward to it. And of course, the good thing is, once your kids, my eldest boy is in secondary school now. Really? I think they finished the year in October, yeah. so he's yeah. already been on holiday for some time. So we'll be totally over them by Christmas. <laughs> All right, Paul Ego, our special guest this morning. Part two of the chat coming up next here on More FM. Manawa 2's 92.2 More FM. Mike West in the morning with Gareth and Renee. It's Famous Friday. Yesterday we caught up with Paul Ego. Yes, Renee was away, so Mike and I caught up with him. That's probably why you don't hear Renee too much in the interview, but it was There's a no lot giggling. of fun. Um, but we can tell you, of course, that Seven Days Live coming to the Regent Theatre on Broadway, 19th of December. Tickets at Ticket Direct. Here's part two of our chat with Mr Ego. Hey, Paul, wondering if we play a little game with you now. We haven't actually, oh, we haven't actually come up with a name for this game, but basically right. you've got to answer with the complete opposite to what you really think. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so why don't you just call it lying? Yeah, okay, <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, that's fine. That'll work. <laughs> so here we go. What do you think about Jeremy Corbett? He is possibly one of the thinnest, sexiest men I've ever slept with. <laughs> How is married life? Married life is absolutely painful, and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, hang on. Ooh, I think I gave that one right. Am I, am I lying here as well? Or no? <laughs> hang on, is this, a, is this a double lie? This has never happened before. This is like the Matrix. Do you earn a good living as a comedian? No. 
answer that one. Ooh, that's brilliant, mate. Yeah, Saying that's... that, I wouldn't recommend everybody get into comedy with the sole intention of earning a good living. No, okay, fair no, enough. It can take enough. a long time, and a lot of it, as you guys would know, working in the media, well, a lot mm-hmm. of it is about being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, last question, Paul. What supermarket has the best specials? <laughs> Countdown. <laughs> oh, no, I don't believe you just said that. Uh, this oh. is a lie game. This could, is a lie hey, game. Could, Paul, could you do that? I don't that? need to remind you of the rules. Could you do that in your pack and save voice? <laughs> no, I actually couldn't. I think I would actually get sued if yeah, I could. Yeah, you fair probably enough, would. Fair you enough. probably would. Hey, that would be a little bit weird. Paul, if you were to have a rider at seven days, like you're a big famous rock star and you could have all these requests that you could have anything backstage before or after the show, what would you have on it? I'd have, um, let's see, I'd have, I'd have countless, um, countless jars of Jaffers. Mm-hmm. I'd have um, loads of cold uh, Stellar toys. <laughs> my favourite beer, a nice Central Otago Pinot, so yeah. a couple of cases of that. Yeah. And then I'd have the bare naked ladies playing acoustically any one of their back catalogue I wished them to play before I walked on stage. Oh, Very good. That would pump you up nicely, wouldn't it? It would. That yeah. and the kind of you know big. Big valve that I'd have going into my testicles. <laughs> Good stuff, Paul. Be like a moon hopper with varicose veins on it. Hey, Paul, it's been great talking to you this morning. As always, you're. Has it though? You're, no, has it has. It? It's been. Is this still the lie game? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We always like talking to you, Paul, and we're looking forward to seven days coming to Palmerston North. We loved the show last time. Can't wait to see it this time round. Thank God this interview's over. We should have got Die Henwood. Yeah. yeah. I know. God, thank God we didn't record this. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, hang on one second. It's not recording. <laughs> hey, do you, do you mind if we do this all again? <laughs> hey, Paul. I say yes, and I'm still playing the line game. Yeah, good on you, mate. Hey, nice work. Nice to talk to you, Paul. See you guys. Thank you very Take much care. for your time, mate. We'll see you when you Pleasure. get down to town. All right, mate. Take care. Awesome, thanks. Mike West in the morning with Gareth and Renee's Famous Friday.